speaking of achievements, I got a question. What do you guys think is the single greatest achievement by a player in football history? Single greatest achievement. Give us an example. Uh, well, mine, I would say, would probably be Messi's ninety-one goals in a, in a calendar year in the modern game. In the modern game. You guys think that'd be broken anytime soon? I think so. Anytime soon. Not yeah, maybe next, in, the, in, in the next like twenty years. Yeah. Really? I think 91 so. Ninety one goals in a calendar no, year. You know how mad that is, no, bro? I think no, so. No, no. Ninety you know how much ninety one goals is? Do you know how much football there's being played nowadays? But ninety one? That's a that's there's a lot of football, man. Who's come close to that? Maybe Ronaldo. How, how much had Ronaldo had? Like seventy? Seventy ish? Something like that? It can happen. And man. Ronaldo's people say greatest goal scorer of this century. Of this generation. Mm-hmm. Will we see someone beat 91 goals in a calendar year anytime soon? I don't think anytime soon. I think so. In the distant future, maybe, but anytime soon, I don't think so. I think so. Like, look at how many goals does Benzema have right now? 39 in 39 games. 39, 40 years, 40 now, I think. Lewandowski had what, like 50 something last season? Yeah. That's still remarkable. That's That's remarkable, bro. That's them pushing themselves. Right? Like 91 goals, like. That's Lewandowski pushing himself, man. Mm hmm. And even, even, like you said, Ronaldo had 70. So that twenty goal gap difference, twenty goals is that's a lot. Well, twenty man. goals for any player is a good season, right? It's a great season, exactly. So that's like pushing it. But you're getting ninety one yeah. in the modern era, bro. It has to be a player who's gonna be able to be top level, playing for the, the top club and also top nation where they can be playing football every maybe single day be and healthy. Can a, can an Mbappe I achieve that say, or no? Like I think so. Because again, if he really goes to Madrid, over ninety one goals, if, if he's playing Madrid and has the right team to play around him, or he's scoring every single game, he's winning, he's he's playing games in Champions League, going to finals, he's going finals to Copa del Rey, he's he's all these matches in the year, and say it's a World Cup or Euro season, you're scoring more goals. I don't know, man. You know I mean, I think ninety-one goals is mad, bro. Like, what are the logistics of Messi's ninety-one goals? Was it like all La Liga? No, there's definitely some Copa del Rey, definitely some Champions League goals. There's well, definitely yeah, some still, some man. nation goals, but like still, bro, it's mad if you yeah, think about I, it. That was twenty twelve, right? Yeah. So no Copa America, no World Cup. Exactly. Was it no there's Copa America? There's Copa America like almost every year. Twenty eleven, bro. Mm-hmm. No extra tournaments to stat pad, bro. Yeah. Could have been over a hundred, bro. Could have been over a hundred. It's it, if any player ha- could do it, it could be Mbappe. But, I don't think so. But man. it has to be perfectly set out. It has to be a year where there's like he goes to the finals of Champions League. There's like World Cup or Euros, and then, like, and it won't be finals. if there's like a Benzema on his yeah, team or yeah. a, or a, a Haaland, <laughs> right? And <laughs> other that's, that's something too. Like it has to be a perfect situation for him to, to even get to that level. But I don't think I don't know. It's never a perfect situation, so I'm, it's not happening. But if anyone could do it, I think Mbappe would be like the closest one. Yeah, like that. when that happened, David Villa got a year-ending injury. Mm-hmm. So he wasn't playing the score goals. Mm-hmm. He just had like Pedro and Alexis hook him up, right? Yeah, and who's finishing that, right? Meanwhile, you, like you're saying, if he goes to Madrid, you have Haaland, like you say, yeah, Vinicius and him and and Benzema. Who <laughs> you think he's gonna score all those goals? No, come That's on, like, I don't think so. He's not the end product there. And if Benzema's still there, even if it's just Mbappe, Benzema, Vinicius, Vinicius is balling too. He's scoring. Messi was the end product for Barca that year. You have three guys who have to share goals now. If Mbappe goes to like that, Madrid. that that's an, that's an achievement that should be named under his name or like you know what I mean. Most, yeah, hundred percent. Do they have that most goals in calendar year? Probably not. Like, like dedicated as to an him? award. Yeah, yeah. I don't think so. I don't think so. Probably no. like see, that deserves more an award than six years of not being injured, not being injured. But I don't know another another record that came out this week or yeah, this week was uh, most hat tricks. By for, Ronaldo. Ronaldo, it's like I think the stat was like thirty hat tricks before he was thirty, and then thirty hat tricks after he was thirty. Yeah, that's pretty a pretty crazy. cool stat. They're that's saying crazy. he has sixty hat tricks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, doesn't Pele have ninety? Pele has ninety two, man. So I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. I, I don't know what I, streets I are saying, man. I can't compare Ronaldo. I don't know. I know Pele has all these stats, and I know you guys are Brazilian, but like, I just want to like in the modern day football, like that's where I see like the big numbers for me. Like sure. like it's you, different. Like it's different. Saying, back in the sure. day, back in the day, maybe yeah, like Pele can pick up like hat tricks like nothing. You know what well, I mean? Like something easier. The competition, no offsides, right? or maybe he was there just was that good that he elevated. But at the same time, everything. I don't know. Maybe we should. But you were saying the same thing with Messi. One thing you really said about I said in the, era, in the modern era. In the modern era, that's true. In the modern era, that's but maybe Pele was just that good. Made it, where it made it seem like he was Messi this is god that of good football, too, though. And he th- is seen as a god of football. No, people say the same about Pele, bro. I mean, but in the modern football, yeah, definitely Ronaldo getting those 
60 hat tricks like you think I, anyone's gonna get 60 hat tricks ever mm, possible no what you you're, you guys are saying mbappe <laughs> could score more than 91 goals when i'll score more <laughs> no, than 60 I, I, didn't say, I didn't say mbappe could score more than anyone i said he he if anyone could do it he would be the closest I don't think so anyone's. Mb- would Mbappe not be the closest to reaching 60 hat tricks? I think he'd be the closest, but it's, I, in my opinion, none of those records are being broken. Really? Yeah. I got another mad stat. More. Not a lot of people talk about it, too. Go for it. Most goals in one World Cup. What? Ooh, Is it still close? Just Fontaine? Just Fontaine. 12 13 goals. goals. Oh, 13. Oh. In the 1958 World yeah, that's Cup. that's crazy. 13 goals. That will never be broken. Yeah, you think I, I so? Think that, I don't think that'll be broken. 13 goals in a, one World Cup. A, a, Wait, a, how much? A, m- it will be broken. How much no. Mueller have that one? Like seven? Oh, five. Was it five? Yeah. I felt like it was more. It will be broken. You know no. why? There's going to be more games. Oh, yeah. The yeah, there's going to be a lot more teams at, at the World Cup. Yeah. More games. A, a lot, lot of more weaker, teams. weaker sides. Still. And you know how Harry Kane likes this stat pass. 13 <laughs> goals. Talk about Harry Kane. What was a Harry Kane at nine? Not even. He had six. Six. I in think. one World Cup? Yeah. And I was playing against Panama. But who was just one team and, playing and against? Now, just, but, and now he didn't even make the final that year. Yeah, that's true. So one last game, right? But at the same time, maybe the World Cup had like really good teams or really poor teams. And I think there was less games then too. Probably. There wasn't 32 teams then. Nah, I doubt it. So 13, that won't be broken. No chance. Man, 5 no games were normal back in the day. <laughs> I don't know, man. With, with the way, like, football is forwarding, advancing, but, like, and no, the amount of teams that are going to be at the World Cup, but who knows, true. it might be even more in, like, a decade or hey, two. Think about it. The most goals, mm. like, total combined in World Cup history is 16. Close yeah. up. Fontaine got three less than that in one. That's crazy. I know, right? That's nuts. Still mad that and close no. up. The most, it, world, the most goals combined... Is 16. And that took close to, what, five World Cups? Four World Cups? Mm. And you think 13 in one World Cup will be broken? No. I, no. I don't see it why won't. not. I don't see why it not. Won't. I don't think so. Bro. It, the most World Cup goals ever is 16 bro, over a career. Like I always say, records are meant to be broken. So Messi's will be broken. Maybe. I, I said not in the near future. I said in the distant future, perhaps. But you're clean. Like this, not in the near future. In the distant future, maybe. But you're like... Clean prediction is it will be broken, you think? Records are meant to be broken. Yeah, yeah I 100%. guess. But like, you think it will? You think there's a good chance? A good chance? Yeah, 100%. Like a good chance? Bro, with the amount of poor, like, worst teams that are going to be coming to the World Cup now with all the inclusions, why not? I don't know. Like, not. There's going to be what? Be more games too, no? Yeah, because of maybe that? Maybe one more round. Another round to score more goals. The stat pad. <sighs> yeah. I don't think so. But again, I think it, every time I, I think about someone who can do it, I think Mbappe is just perfect player at the same time like french like, he's the end product like matt says modern era modern era football is different than back then i feel like there should be like a line when you know what this is when these stats are taken care of and maybe this is this history of this time in football but where do you close it off at i don't know that's the thing 2000s like when you close it off 2005 like no uh, even the 90s were crazy the even champions league was different like a few decades ago right even, even the 90s were like comparable stats to now like no one was really had like crazy stats broken in the nineties. I don't know. So you, guys. you got any more crazy uh, mm-hmm. uh, achievements? Uh, yeah. People were saying Barca sex double, crazy achievement. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, selling Maguire for eighty million. <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone said I'm a Madrid fan with a stone on my heart. It has to be Messi seven Ballon d'Ors. Oh yeah, will that be broken? Never. No. No. Never, never. Why not? Never, so never, that? Never. Why not? So that why won't not? be broken? <laughs> huh? That won't be broken, but 13 think. World Cup goals will. I didn't, I said nothing's going to be broken. I said the closest person who would even have a chance would be Mbappe, but he's not breaking I it. Know, I man. think no one's ever. breaking that world. Like, all the stats, all these door. trophies, things, I'm saying no one's breaking them. Why though? <clears throat> you, don't think pe- you don't think people in like the 50s or like 60s were saying that, like, oh, they'll never score 20, did, 30, whatever goals in a season in top true. play football? When did you know Messi, what I mean? When did Messi win his first Ballon d'Or? How old was he? 21. 21. How old is uh, Mbappe right now? 22, 22. And he's the closest. Oh, 20, 24. He's 20. At the, at the end of the year. At the end of the year. He's 97? 98. He's 98, yeah. yeah. And he's the closest thing to being, you know, the next guy. Yeah. How is the next guy? He's already too late. Is he too late? He's already too late. What do you mean? Is seven? He, I mean, is he too late? What do you mean? Is he too late? You, man, unless, he, unless he gets unless he gets seven in a you row, you yeah, never know, man. I'd be too late know. to have seven. Honestly, the way thing is that Messi is again out of this world. Like he's something different. Like what he's been able to do in football is like he 
he m- took things to a different level like no one's ever seen before. And then now that that Messi's there, there's a lot of people and a lot of players who look up to that style in football and like the way he plays. And a lot of more a lot more teams looking for the next best thing. Cuz Messi when Messi came out like he was like out of nowhere. He was like the he was like, you know what I mean? Like outlier. But now that Messi and the Ronaldo's are there, like there's a lot of these like youth players, a lot of these teams are looking for the next guy. So there's going to be a lot more competition than it was back in the day when Messi and even Ronaldo's winning these Ballon d'Ors. They're the only two competitions for the past like what? I do not, 15 I do, years, however however long it started, who got it first? Ronaldo got it first or Messi? Messi got Between it first. Between them? Yeah. Ronaldo. Ronaldo got it first. You, got you know what I mean? Like the, that whole time that they were fighting for Ballon d'Or was always them, them two. And then there was like, what, Modric that one time. Mm-hmm. But like the next couple of years, there's going to be comparisons all, all around. Like there's going to be Mbappe, there's Holland, and there's who else? Well, Benzema's, Benzema's winning it this Benzema. like this coming season. But you know what I mean? Like there's a Foden who's, who can even step up. probably be his first and only. Vinicius is starting yeah. to get better now. Whoever else, defender's going to start getting better now. Midfield is Pedri starting to get better now. You know what I mean? Like there's so many players that are like the next best thing now. So you feel like there won't be like a player doing like a queen, like a clean sweep of Ballon d'Ors. There, there will never like be someone like Messi did. There will never be that one Ronaldo. player who's going to step up and be better than everyone. There's never going to be just two players like Mr. Ronaldo. Competing you don't think so? Because no players come out of nowhere just like that, man. But yeah. But, but how much more out of nowhere can you go with to what maybe in the seen? next like five years, like a player will just emerge out of nowhere and just better take. than Messi. But how many? Like t- I know. <laughs> like Andrew, no, bro. Man. Fifteen years old, man. Watch out. See, the thing is, we every year there's a new player. There's Halilovic. There's freaking. The That's true. There's always a lot a of players don't person, live up, and none of them. Hakim Astur. Look how long he was hyped up for. Nothing. There's always be these players. But they were hyped up at an early age for no reason. Uh, well, Messi started got his first Ballon d'Or 21. But no, but I feel like once you're 19, 20, starting seeing actual full time minutes is when you're legit. Halilovic and Mastur never got full time minutes. Yeah, they're never playing for like first yeah. team. Like their their exactly. their so their PR team was really good when they were team. when they're 15, 14 years old. And that's <laughs> why there'll never be a player like Messi. He was world class at 21 years old winning his first Ballon d'Or. People are saying already, goat, goat already, at 21. Bro, I heard I saw I saw videos of people like commentators calling him the goat. At, at twenty one, yeah. 21. You think it was a being a player like that, twenty one years old? You never no, know, man. It's because it's because that's something that no one had seen before at that age. We've seen it before. Well, once Pelé, bro, he scored two uh, goals in the World Cup final, at seventeen years old. Mm-hmm. But that you know what I mean, like we've never seen that before. Like that's the thing. Like I don't, I don't know. know. I don't I, think it's gonna happen. I don't think. I, so. I don't think it's someone will win seven Ballon d'Ors. That's just inflated. Yeah. But there could be another Messi. Think about it. When yeah. Pelé oh, was no, playing, there could be. They're good. There when Pelé was playing. Would anyone ever think, wow, someone's going to be better than the Pele? Yeah, it's true. Right? Like, but the thing is that the game also changed back then to now. Not just, not just I'm saying the, the, the rules are, but also the play style. You know what I mean? It's different when one player is like crazy. See, if Messi was playing back in the day there, Messi was probably, who knows? Maybe Messi was funny. way better than Pele. There would be no HTH back in the day, bro. <laughs> Messi would not be playing. No, no, but I'm saying Messi like, would be five foot no, two, I'm saying, bro. Like, not if, playing. If there was, if Messi was like at his health now, how he is now, while playing back in the day with Pele, yeah, would Pele be as good or would Messi? No, be but as then good? the thing is, you could say if Pele was playing in the modern day with all the medicine and modern advancement in football, he'd be even better. Some would say because Pele, Pele I, was. I hate this debate. Pele was no, a crazy no. athlete, man. He he had like a. He like jumped six feet. He had like a eleven second, uh, hundred meter sub sprint. Eleven hundred meters. Yeah, like he was a crazy athlete. No, for sure, a hundred percent. I get it. But like you know what I mean? Like Pele was at a different level back then. Yeah, those guys were smoking darts on the bench. <laughs> Still balling. You know what I mean? Still, Still balling. balling. But like, imagine bringing something else on the bench. Messi, <laughs> b- 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 Cruyff, one of the best players ever. He smoked. Yeah, but that's the thing. The game has changed now. Like I don't know. It's it's different. But isn't that more of a testament to how good those players are if they put their bodies through that kind of toll and yet they still perform? I mean, a lot of players put their body in the toll now. Look at Pedri. I mean, how old? Their, their That's involuntary, good. bro. I mean, still. <laughs> he has no choice, with bro. With no Vogue's. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> he's, he's, they're still putting it to the limit. What are you, you saying, Jay? You can't be comparing eras. Nah, but you yeah. can. That's yeah, why yeah. It's, it's hard, that, man. That's why he's hard. But you can compare what they did in their era. Yeah. You can do that. You can. Yeah, I, I don't pe- know. I don't people like say greatest achievement, Pele's three World Cups. Will we see that happen? No. Will we see a player get three World no. Cups? No, Pro- I don't think so. Don't no, because so. think about. It. I don't think so, man. That's like that's so rare to happen. Yeah, that's that so that's happen. so difficult. When like so many things, so many things have to fall in place. Like you, you got to be fit. Yeah, you got to be your team has to win, obviously, right? Like yeah. you got you need that kind of luck, not to win one, not two, but three. And you need to have a good team around you. you but again, like, you know what I mean. Mbappe could do it when he got his first World Cup. He was young. That's true. Think about it. Next though. one is now. If he gets one this you year, need, he's he's twenty three, twenty four. 
He has 10 more years to get another one. I he need all the pieces of the puzzle to fall in place. Yeah, he and he needs, a, he needs a good team around him, too. He does. France have a good team. Like, think about it. Pelé's first World Cup was 58. Third World Cup was 70. Mm. That's 12-year difference. Yeah. L- l- like, we're in 2022 right now, right? Look at, let's say, the France squad in 2010. Mm-hmm. No one from that squad is still there. No, because they're all old. Except Benz. Yeah, they're all old, pretty like, much. Oh, squads well. change. Like, you have to make the squad, first of all. Yeah. You have to be good enough to make the squad. But the thing is, the like, thing is with, with Fr- France, yeah. is they had quality to go exactly on quality. And go on and go cycling, on. Recycling, recycling. There's on. always cycles, bro. Yeah. What if like, uh, what if Mbappe doesn't make the squad in twelve years? You never know, man. What if he gets a big injury? Think about it. What if in yeah. twenty ten? What if in twenty ten someone told you Benzema won't be in the squad in twenty eighteen? I would have called you crazy, exactly. man. Exactly, and he wasn't in it. What if Mathieu Valbuena didn't exist? <laughs> right. Exactly. <laughs> Benzema would have been top scorer for France. Yeah. What, what, what <laughs> if someone things, told you? you 2010. Stop. What if someone told you, man, this Ben Arfa and Nasri guy, th- they'll be nothing in a couple of years, right? <laughs> you you would have been like, nah, they're great, right? And Payet back when he was in uh, like, stepping up too. One question I have to ask is, do you guys think? And I think this is still possible. Do you think Messi can win the Ballon d'Or another one still, or no? Mm. Or is it done? Or like Ronaldo or, or I Messi? think regardless, if Argentina win the World Cup, he won't win the Ballon d'Or. Really? Yeah. If you were the way, let's say the season's ended right now, and he wins the league, but doesn't get the top goal, doesn't get the goals, whatever, and he wins the the World Cup. No, but well, that no. will be for the next Ballon d'Or then. The World Cup. The next Ballon d'Or. Oh yeah, because don't uh, don't they stop the count like before the World Cup starts? No, it's for season now. Remember. But does, does no? Oh, but yes. does the World Cup? Oh, yeah. Was that was that World Cup coming up count for next season? Yeah. Oh, I, oh I yeah, because yeah. the season starts in September. Oh yeah, yeah, true. August. So I think if he wins the World Cup, he could win the next Ballon d'Or. Yeah, I don't know, you, oh, can't, you can't okay. say that now. You if can't you say like that. Then you can't talk about that right that's now. Ca- it's kind of it's kind of hard to say. I think I think Ronaldo or Messi could still win one. I think one of them can still. win. I don't know, man. I think I think their I times think, might be up, man. I don't know. I think I, can still I don't think Ronaldo could win one. I don't think Ronaldo. I don't think Ronaldo, Ronaldo has any chance. Messi no. maybe very little, but what if he wins the World Cup? That's huge PR. But it is, man. But is it realistic? Yeah, they're favorites. Argentina? Yeah. Nah, Aww. bro. I think yeah, I think they'll give it to Messi if he wins the World Cup, man. Because that's that final piece in the puzzle yeah. puzzle that he needs, right? Yeah. But that's the thing. Is that based on oh because his or it's Messi you won the World Cup we have to give it to him or is it because you know I what? think he I think they it. would, man. Because it's journalists that vote for it, man. And like so that that World Cup's gonna take it to the top. They'll be like, yeah, Messi's Messi's deserving. No matter what his stats are, I feel like he'll win it if he wins the Ballon d'Or <laughs> yeah. or if that's he wins crazy. the World Cup. That's why the Ballon d'Or sometimes it's a little. Yeah. A little, a little sus, yeah. a little sus. <laughs> but it is what it is, man.